So, so Amazon just recently released a shipping method, a new shipping method, where that when you're scrolling through their website, you can choose your product and then just grab it from the screen. It's pretty cool. So recently I've been checking out these uh, attachments for the Ronin S to put my mic or a monitor on just to take some load off the gimbals. And all we have to do is this. Pretty sweet. Um, we're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna open this up. So let's do that. I'm kidding. You really don't wanna steal. This is the package right here. So we are gonna go ahead and open her up. There we go. Brand new out of the box. Let's try it out. All right, here we go. I really don't want to get up and move the table and grab the gimbal, so we're just gonna do this. And I need the gimbal, so we're gonna do this. I think we got it. We're gonna put the mounting plate on it, and then this is gonna go right here. And this is the attachment to hold your mic and then a monitor and we'll adjust it so it, it fits better. I don't have a monitor with me. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go with just a light that I have for now. If the light's too big, we just might run and run with the light or with the, the mic and then kind of showcase it with the mic. So never mind, bag is right here. Here's the plate. Comes with four screws to mount to the side. It also comes with an Allen. And I'm not exactly, there we go, got it. That was, that was weird. So we're just gonna take this side plate off and put that plate on. Make sure you leave that DJI plate underneath the mounting bracket because it was causing connection issues and making the gimbal do funky things. You may have to get longer screws, but I just use the original ones from the plate itself. It's got a couple threads holding it in. Shouldn't be too difficult. This actually looks like it's made out of pretty good material. It's like carbon fiber. Hopefully this doesn't damage these pins on the side. We're gonna actually, whoa. We're actually gonna pre-put these screws in here real quick. The screw size is different. I'm just gonna use the screws that it came, that's for the DJI. I don't wanna mix them all up. They send screws, but I don't really want to use those screws. I'd rather use the manufactured screws, even though it's probably not that big of a deal. All right, kind of get it snug a little bit. It's cool because you can actually, there's more mounting holes on the side right here. So if I wanted to mount a monitor out back, I could do that using one of the arms that I have. I just wanted to see how well this worked for holding a microphone because it seemed pretty convenient, especially without having to balance the camera with the microphone anymore. It's kind of pain in the butt. Put this off to the side maybe so it's out of the way a little bit. So there is... The new mounting for the side here, it's actually fairly easy to put on and put together, so it's not that difficult, which is a plus. Very easy, especially when doing wedding gigs and stuff. You don't wanna be messing too much with this. You kinda wanna have this balanced beforehand, especially in situations like that. It's got a mind of its own where you just want this balance to the camera and you don't wanna be adding mics and taking mics off. I mean, you can balance it with the mic beforehand, but it just makes it easier if you wanna add stuff down the road. You're like, oh shoot, I can add, add another or different mic. I can add a mic going both ways. Really, the sky's kind of the limit when it comes to this and not having to mess with the gimbal itself. Also, another benefit I see about having an attachment like this would be that you're taking load off of the motors. This is a pretty heavy camera. This is a D850, Nikon D850 with a Tamron 15 to 30 lens. So that lens with this camera, it's already a pretty heavy setup. I mean, it's not super heavy, but it's heavy for these motors, even though the DJI motors have seemed to be the best motors on a gimbal that I've seen so far. I haven't had hands on the new gimbals like from Crane and stuff, but I know that these motors were a lot better than the Crane 2 that I used to have. And that is why I went with the Ronin S because this thing is an absolute tank. And so I got this for the attachment to kind of take some load off of the gimbals, the gimbal itself, and uh, we'll see how it looks. Let's grab this mic. Up. So you have your mic, you can set up right here, depending on what side your mic goes on your camera input, which I'm assuming it's gonna be on the left-hand side, because that's usually where they are. Slide your mic on there, not too bad. 
I can see the mic kind of getting in the way, I guess, but it's not like I'm gonna be doing that anyways. Now, see, the issue with this is when you're down low like this, you're obviously going to have to adjust the mic up and it's no longer out in front. So anything that happens with the camera, if your camera is making noise and stuff, it's probably gonna pick it up in the shotgun mic, which is probably not a good idea. The reason why I like the mic on top of the camera most of the time is because wherever your camera is pointed, that's where the sound's coming from, especially with these shotgun mics. If I'm like this and I have this adjusted for going down, I'm gonna have to keep adjusting this to move it. That's the only downside. But it is nice to take the load off of the gimbal itself. So if I'm sitting there, if I'm sitting here doing like a recording of somebody, like a ceremony or something, and just holding it, holding it like this, and having that shotgun mic kind of out of the way, is kind of nice because then I can, you know, feel the view and stuff. I can see. But if I'm getting more intricate with it, like getting B-roll shots and stuff, and the mics, kind of useless at that at this point where I'm getting down like this. This would also come in handy for having a monitor and even attaching the monitor out here to have it on the backhand side. DJI with the Ron and S did a fantastic job with moving these motors out of the way so you can see your LCD screen. But there are some scenarios still where you can't see that LCD screen. All right, we're gonna try mounting this light on here just for the heck of it. Being able to adjust and have light when needed is actually pretty cool. So that is a huge plus. I don't have to hold a light or have somebody hold a light for me. I can just have a light on here pointed to whatever I wanna do. Being able to have light for doing shots like this is a cool option to have. I'm not sure when I will use that, but it's definitely a cool option to have. Say you're shooting a wedding or you're doing kind of the dance and you're in a really dark setting. I shoot with a GH5, so you need a lot of light for the GH5, you don't really get low good low light, this is a solid option for that. Let's do some B-roll of the attachment, why not? Let's do it. Okay, so now the real question is, should you buy this for your gimbal? I personally, if you're running around with a bunch of stuff that you need and you don't have 14 hands to be able to use them, I would say yes. So if you have a mic that you want to take the gimbal load off and then you also have a light or a monitor, this is, this is a pretty awesome option for only 50 bucks. And it's pretty good build quality at that. So I would definitely recommend it. I can even have a point of view, that's pretty sick. I can even have a point of view with a, uh, a GoPro camera right here pointed at my direction. That's actually kind of a good idea, like a behind the scenes. Be creative, and if you pick one of these up, let me know, because I'm curious to how you're gonna shoot with it. Peace out, guys.